everyone loves you. You look like a little bear. A little bear. You look at Do you like this? Oh my god, she never just lets me hold her like this. Yeah. Hi friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here on Sunday with another video. I am very excited for today's video because I feel like I don't normally do... I wouldn't necessarily call this a challenge, but just like intense smoking. And I don't even know if it's gonna be intense smoking, but very excited because today's video is sponsored by Freeze Pipe. I only have half of the bongs, bowls. No, these are bongs. I only have half of the bongs here because the other half is in the freezer chilling for this sesh. But they actually gave me this really great idea. And normally I probably wouldn't do something like this, but because half of the bong is frozen, I just thought that my baby lungs would be able to handle it better. But we're just gonna do three kind of badass bowls that you guys should definitely try. Probably bowls that you've seen on Instagram. There's this one page. I'm literally gonna like put her thing right here, work dubs. She puts beautiful, beautiful bowls. Mine won't be this beautiful, but they will be kind of fun. Uh, we're going to do a twaxed bowl. We're gonna do a time bomb, which I have done before. And then we're going to do a Napoleon, which is kind of like different layers of stuff. So I'm gonna start with the XL bong here solely because the frozen attachment has been in the freezer longer and I want to let the one for the XL bubbler, I believe it's called. I just wanna let that one freeze a little bit longer. Um, so we're gonna start with the Twax bowl. So we're gonna grind up some lead. I'm smoking on some Wicked Chem. Let me see if I can find, oh wait, I have a beautiful mug to show you guys are here. Also, I bought a tracing board off of Amazon and it has been really, really nice for just like showing off glass. It looks so pretty. So just something for my fellow stoners that are into taking pictures of their glass and weedy things. All right, let's see. So this is our Wicked Chem. I believe it is animal cookies crossed with Chem 91. Oh my God, can you hear Aria? <laughs> hey, leave my tapestry alone. All right, hello. I've brought you all a bit closer for this one. I have a nice single wall bowl in the XL bong here. I'm going to put some regular old weed in there. Okay, I just turned on one of Aria's interactive toys downstairs in the basement, so hopefully that will entertain her for a little bit. But all right, I don't want this bowl to be too big because like I'm already gonna be getting hella stoned from this. So we've got our lovely bowl of flour right here. What I'm gonna do Let's see if I can zoom you guys in. So I've got this big old chunk of shatter and then there's a few like smaller pieces that have kind of just broken off as I've been taking dabs off of it. So I'm gonna take all of these smaller pieces and just kind of, ah, I lost one. That's okay, it fell on the tracing board. But just kind of put those in there and then I'll get a few more. All right, we've got our shatter in there. It's kind of like moving around. Ah, it literally just, oh my God, thank God I was doing that. Oh no, she's back and she's meowing at me. Ah! Okay, I lied. We actually put the attachment for the, I say we, but it was just me. <laughs> I put the attachment for the um, XL bubbler, not the, not the other one. Luckily, these bowls have the same exact size joint, so I can just swap that over there. And I guess we're just gonna jump right on into this. So what I like to do with twaxed bowls is actually almost like hover your lighter above the bowl for a few seconds uh, until you see your wax start to melt a little bit and then you can kind of go and give it the full flame. I just feel like it kind of more so like evenly distributes your wax a tiny bit more because sometimes you'll take the flame to it and then the wax just like catches on fire. Cheers. Oh wait, let me, <laughs> I almost didn't do what I just told you guys to do. Oh my gosh, wow. I can actually taste that wax. I was dabbing that wax earlier. Oh, I can't toker poke though because then it's gonna make it super sticky. I feel like that hit went a little bit yellow but it didn't really feel like it. It still felt pretty smooth. I'm only taking one more hit because I'm gonna get way too stuck.
Hello! Alright, time bombs, as I'm waving my scissors at you, are a great way to finish off your roaches from like your joints or blunts, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna roll a mini joint. These scissors are so I can do this. Oh wait, why did I take this? I don't want this. You do not want that because then you will be burning that, and you do not want to burn that. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do it pretty small, like a third of the size, I feel like is fine. Also, I need like an alcohol wipe. My hands are so sticky from putting that wax on that bowl. Yeah? Do you hear her talking to me? She thinks I can understand her. All right, this is questionable, but I'm just gonna do it. Ugh, my hands are so dry now from using that alcohol wipe. It's like not even turning. Rotating, I don't even know the right word I'm looking for. I could have cut off a lot of this paper too. I still can. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna cut some of this so it's less paper. Now I am smoking. And then I'm just gonna tuck that in there. It kind of worked. I mean, it definitely worked, but there we go, there we go. So this is what I just rolled. Oops, oh, piece of weed. And I'm gonna make this into a time bomb. So basically the concept here is to put this in the center and then pack all of the weed around it. Oh my God, I can't believe that's happening right now. But I need to grind more weed. I don't know the best way to do this. I wish I had tiny little tweezers. Oh, that feels like a stem. <laughs> okay, so for the third bowl with Keith, I thought I was just gonna have to like scrape the edges of my grinder because my grinder's so dirty that the Keith chamber literally is empty. But then I texted my brother and asked if he had any Keith and he came through with this jar of keef. Like what the heck? So we have keef. Okay, I've already left this out for too long. I need to hit this already. It's already unfreezing. Okay, um, I feel like I could have a much better angle. Potentially, you know? Maybe even a little brighter. Okay, <laughs> cheers. Oh, I'm just lighting this. So at first it's kind of just like you're smoking the joint through the bong. And then once it hits the level where the flower is, the flower should start burning. Okay, the next hit is it. Let me see if I can get you guys. All right, as you can see, the joint is right at the level with the rest of the weed. And I'm already getting bigger hits. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me try and take a couple more hits. I feel like I'm already really stoned, so yeah. It happened so fast. How does it get that full? Time bombs. <laughs> Okay, hi. This last bowl, I definitely want to do a close-up of me packing it. I'm hoping, I even cleaned out the bowl because I'm hoping that you'll be able to like see the layers when I zoom in, you know? So, um, very excited we have Keef and then I might use some hash rosin in this. We'll see. All right, we've got our flour, our Keef, and our rosin. Our empty bowl. I'm gonna use the XL bubbler again just because that little mouthpiece is colder. And let's start building this.
I have weed under my fingernails. But you can kind of see the layers on the side. Oh, almost lost that. Did you see that? <sighs> Scary. Oh, I lost it, but it's it's right there. That looks so cool. Guys, I got a Fitbit. It came in yesterday, and it's been really interesting already to track my sleep. I only tracked it last night, obviously. It was a really good night's sleep, though. And just, I've been really paying attention to my heart rate. We were paying attention to it last night in my Twitch stream and just seeing if it, like, increased after bong rips or while I was playing video games and stuff. It was really interesting to see. It's at... 92 beats per minute right now. I have like a fairly high heart rate. I think my resting is usually around like 75 or something. Um, and usually like small activities, like I noticed I was brushing my hair and my heart rate went to like 100 something. And I was like, hmm, okay, interesting. So it would make sense that just like standing here and smoking would get it up to like 92, what did I say? Something like that. I think we're ready. Oh, I gotta get the thing out of the freezer. Hello, let's do this. Where's my lighter? orange lighter. What the? I just buy the trash because I was cleaning out this bowl. Okay, here we go. And I guess I'm gonna try and melt the hash on top before I actually hit it. I don't think I have enough water in the top part. Yeah, definitely not. Bye bad on that. Ooh, this tastes so interesting. Oh, I shouldn't be doing that. Oh no, ah, I'm gonna have to clean that. Aria! These really do like, I feel like I would not be able to handle this kind of bowl with just a normal bomb. I would be coughing way more. I wonder, does that look kind of cool? I'm kind of taking baby hits, but I just, I gotta pace myself, you know? Okay, I'm going to take one more hit and then I'm gonna go and cuddle with this cat that has been meowing at me for an hour. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys for staying until the end of this video. Let me know what you thought of this video. It was just, it was really fun to kind of create these bowls. It felt very artistic, especially when I was doing the layered one. It reminded me of like when you were a kid. Hey, can you leave my mini blinds alone? <laughs> But you know when you were a kid and you would make sand art in like the glass, little vases and stuff, you know, or glass jars? That's what it kind of reminds me of uh, building this and just being able to see it on the side. But okay, last hit. Cheers if you stayed until the end of the video. Um, let me know if you did that sand art thing as a kid or not. Now I'm very curious. Cheers. That was a better one. <coughs> okay, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I will see you guys next Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Stay high. Bye.